today we are taking the dive and finally starting our front yard makeover and we partnered up with Home Depot and the Lockley to install the Secure Pro and that has inspired this little phase makeover you are going to see right now. I will be diving into Lockley Secure Pro Smart Lock Deadbolt with 3D fingerprint and Wi-Fi. I'm using the matte black finish a little bit later, but this is the inspiration to create a modern front to Holly's house. This does work with Alexa and Google Home, but the thing that I trip out about the most, you'll see later, is the fingerprint entry. First, let's get to the point where we can actually install this lock. So kicking off this makeover, I originally wanted to save this front door and just paint it and give it a little bit of a facelift. I started by removing the old hardware and then putting some liquid sandpaper on, which I've gone into detail before on my fireplace makeover. I will card it for you here. But then I decided to also go in with some TSP to clean it up after I wiped off the liquid sandpaper. I just wasn't about to take this thing off the hinges and sand it on down. Uh, I wanted to see if I could kind of get myself like cut corners a little bit. While that rusted with TSP, I decided to work on a mini landscape makeover to see if we wanted to do this throughout the entire front yard. So I removed the wood chips and started to level out some of the ground, if you will, and lay down a weed barrier. Fun fact, if you are going to be laying down rock or wood chips or something where you're not gonna be planting throughout the entire planter, you wanna make sure to protect it with weed barrier because over time, as sprinklers hit the plants that do need to be watered, weeds will pop up here and there throughout the wood chips, which we're trying to avoid. We're gonna be laying down some rock, so laying this down prevents that. <laughs> I actually threw down the rock before painting the house because as you can see, so much dust kicks up. So I wanted to do that first prior to putting on the black paint because we are painting this house black. So if I would have done it the opposite, all this like white powder gets all over and it's a little bit on the annoying side of things. I wanna be completely honest, I really did try my hardest to save this door. As I continue to paint this phase one area black, I didn't really like how the door looked up against it, but I wanted to persevere and try to paint it white. Maybe that would make it look a little bit more chic with the black hardware, I just wasn't sure. Before totally calling it quits, I decided to replace the exterior light fixture, which you know I always tell you, paint and light fixtures make the world a difference. I upgraded it to one that ended up not working, so then I replaced it with the one that Holly ended up buying, which I fell in love with, but then that inspired me to really reassess the front door situation and think about truly investing a little bit of money to get a brand new front door and learn how to install the hardware, make the holes ourselves. <laughs> I ended up purchasing an entirely new front door from Home Depot, I'll link it down below for you, and I even got 50 bucks off because there was a little bit of damage since it was returned, which is a total steal. Holly and I had no idea what we were doing, but we looked up a couple of YouTube videos and just dove in. She handled all the measurements, I handled all the tools. As much as this was intimidating and definitely not perfect by any means, this was so liberating when the door did get hung up and we now use it because Holly and I just did this solo and completely tackled it like such bosses. Like I said, it might not be perfect, but it's perfect for our first time to be quite frank. It was so much fun to finally take the old door off. As you can see, she was not looking cute by any means, but we did decide to donate her anyways because hopefully someone else can DIY her a little bit better. Damn, did we think we were such bosses right here when we installed the door and go to close it. It took us all day to figure this out. I couldn't even put the whole footage in here. It was so infuriating. 
Well, at least we're not I swear to God, seal. if you don't close right now, I'm gonna lose. Watch me. I'm like watching this. I just see. Oh, 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 oh. It's so close. How? It's like the most flush. It so I have to cut that it's side. So it took a little bit of elbow grease, but we were able to move forward once we figured out how to close the door because clearly we needed to be safe. Look how much light is in here now. Installing a lock actually is not that difficult and Lockley does a great job via their paper manual, which I followed and then Holly scanned it through on her phone and followed and like kind of directed me through it while she was watching it. Even though it did take us a lot longer to install it since this was our first time with a smart lock such as this, it truly started to pull the whole front together just making it look all chic and cute. This thing is so sleek. Whoa. What are you doing? It knows. It knows what? Open and locked. <gasps> Press, what does it do? Unlocking. Are you kidding me? And then what do I, what happens if I come up here to like, <gasps> I feel like we're in a movie. And then if, how do you do the fingerprint? I, we're gonna to figure that part out next. Stop it, it said no, you're not allowed in. Your fingerprints are not recognized here. <gasps> and you are locked out. It has a pin genie digital touch screen that has a shuffling keypad. So even if someone's trying to look at your code, you shuffle it real quick when you leave, uh, not gonna happen. You have remote access to issue digital keys with specific and time durations, and also manage and view access history from your smartphone like you saw Holly just do. Lockley has a fair amount of options to choose from. This is just the one that we went with. I have linked it down below for you, but as you can see, there is one that can suit any home. As I mentioned earlier, this wasn't the easiest process, and you can see the mess on the side but I am still insanely proud right here is where I think Holly died a little bit because she's been measuring everything correctly this entire door and the very bottom of the door she barely measured off uh, and I drilled the hole through so now there's like a little ding mark and we have to fill it with wood putty but hey it's a little beauty mark in my opinion I have said it before and I will say it again, it has been so much fun tackling Holly's house in phases and making it a true reflection of her. And not only that, being able to add this smart tech like this Lockley Secure Pro to the house to soup it up for her just makes me that much more happy. If you guys want to see more detail about the app or you want to just dive in a little bit more to the Lockley itself, I go into more depth over on my Instagram stories. I will link it for you. But I am just super pumped to be able to bring you phase one, even though it's a little awkward. It's a tiny makeover. But to go to phase two for the privacy fence, because now we need it with this door installed. So you're fully gonna see me in the reflection and that's completely okay. But bada bing, bada boom, people. Paint, new door, new light fixture, and very, very minor decor details and very, very, very minor start to landscaping. I really am enjoying this process of taking things in phases because it's just giving all new inspiration for the privacy fence we want to build that will basically go behind me to block the street in this door in these two windows. Remember, this is what the house used to look like. This is what it's going to look like now. Thanks to our friends over at Home Depot with Lockley. Now watch this. Oh, no big deal. And then when you shut it on the inside, even though it's a little bit messed up this door, and say so you leave, don't mind that, we need to patch it, got it for a discount, shut it. Ooh.
For the front door mat, I double layer. I like to have an accent one and then one that is actually usable and I don't care if it gets messed up. I even fold over the edges if they're too long because you can always just throw these in the washer and reuse them for another space. You look so rude. Rude as broad. Look at that death stare. <laughs> <laughs> 